Welcome to Jackal Dia Wine Tech. In this quick video, I will show you how to, in this case specifically, unbreak the ESP32 C3 Super Mini, but it should also work for other ESP models. So this is a working sketch. It does have some icons in it, so we will see if this works. And I will show you how to upload the sketch without using Arduino IDE if it happens to bug out. So what you'll want to do is go to File, Preferences, enable the Show Verbose output during Compile, click OK. Then I will compile this sketch. So go to Sketch, Verify Compile. And before we do, we obviously have to set what the board will be. So this will be ESP32 family device. It has some problem detecting it. I do not know why. So it's that one. And as for the, the board, it will be, in this specific case, the MakerGo ESP32 C3 Super Mini. So I can now verify and compile this. And I should be able to see where this file will be compiled, the test one that is, because when it does compile, we just get the inno file, which is for the Arduino IDE. But if you need to upload the sketch, not using the Arduino IDE, you need the bin file. And this one is located in this directory. So let me go to this directory. So I will copy this. Paste this inside. So it is inside. As for the sketch, it's January 26th. Dino merged bin. So it is this one. I will copy it. But before I do, let me upload the sketch that will break this ESP C3 Super Mini. So the sketch that will break the ESP C3 Super Mini board will be this one. As you can see, it's going to spam something, in this case this line, every 10 milliseconds. So if you don't have a good enough delay, or maybe you don't have any delay at all, sooner or later the ESP will stop producing any lines, so let me just upload this and display the serial monitor. So we get a bunch of invalid headers as you can see. I do not know why the board is complaining though. It's kind of going in and out though it's connected quite firmly to the PC. So let's see if it still works. It does, but maybe I need to change the port because for some reason it's getting, aha, uh -huh, now it works, it's not getting disconnected. And we'll see if this is too spammy and it stops returning any text. Otherwise, we would need to actually disable the delay, but we'll see. I'll give it a few minutes. A few moments later. Well, I guess I am kind of impatient, so maybe this will not break it. Just make it unresponsive for uploads. So let's see if that is correct. Doesn't seem like it. So maybe just disable the delay altogether. What happened previously in one of the cases, though not this specific one, something else, is that after some time, the board would not give out any signal at all. So it would just freeze. But in this case, I guess it can handle all of this. So let's see if it can upload. So while I can't at the moment reproduce the bug. So I guess it looked something like this, as you can see the last line. Now it's holding and it's not doing anything. You would be expecting this to continue printing, which it is not. So no serial that received. 
let's see if I try to upload again. So okay, I did manage to break it, now I can't upload new sketches and nothing is also happening in the board. Now if I do disconnect it from the USB and connect it again, this will start outputting the text, but I will not be able to upload a new sketch, at least I imagine I will not be able to, because the UART or the signal to the USB is getting hammered. So, yep, I was not able to upload a new sketch. So, what can you do in this case? Well, you can go to Espressive ESP tool on the GitHub, go to the last releases, as you can see, you will need the ESP tool.py, go to the latest. As you can see, they have all of the versions, so Windows, Mac, Linux, and you can scan for the different antivirus softwares if you want. In this case, I do trust them, so I will simply download the Windows version. Once you have this downloaded, simply unpack it or copy it out of the zip folder, then open it, at least in Windows, you can click on the top, type in CMD, this will open comment prompt, and what we want to paste in is this line, so esptool.py, so esptool.py, dash dash chip, esp32, in this case C3, so you can use this for other esp32 based ECBs, and erase flash. Though in this case, as I see, I do not have the esptool.py, but I do have the esptool.exe file. So instead of using esptool.py, I'll type in esptool.exe and this should work. As you can see, it's connecting to COM1, which is not correct. It should connect to COM3, but it is busy. Uh huh. And why is that? Well, that's because the Arduino ID was opened, so we have to close it. And now on the COM3, this is being flashed with basically empty flash, or it's being erased. So all of zeros, just like you would format a drive in your PC. So this is done. I could now close it, open the Arduino ID again, and upload a new sketch, but I want to try and upload a new sketch using this tool. So I will now copy this bin file, which I have made previously. This is the one that is working and it is not spamming. I will simply put it here. Now the ESP tool needs a bin file. When you upload the sketch or make a sketch using the Arduino ID, it makes an Inno file. It also makes a bin file, as you can see, but it is not visible. So this just makes an Inno file. You don't get a bin file here. You have to search for it in the temp files. So that is why you have to enable those options to get the location to the bin file. You then have to use this line. Again, I don't have esptool.py. In this case, it's .exe. You can also use the pip command if you have Python installed to install the esptool.py. In this case, I've just downloaded it and use the file as is. Everything else stays the same, but we can change the name of the file to something else. No more bricks, but I have to rename the file so it actually exists. So no more bricks.bin and this file should now be uploaded to the ESP32 C3 Super Mini. It is being written as you can see. Will we also see any output? Probably not. A few moments later. So is this done? So now it's done. Not not yet. So it's done now, but we don't see any output. So let me open the Arduino ID. Now it doesn't matter which sketch you open, as long as you open the correct device. And look at that. 
the ESP32C3 lives on. Though the baud rate should be set to this value. So this is what the sketch outputs or did output when I made it. And as you can see it also prints out the icons, which is a nice little addition. So that is how you can unbreak the ESP module using the ESP tools. And just so you know, I did not hold the boot button, I just left it as it was. But if you have any issues using the ESP tool, you may need to also press and hold the boot button when you run the flash command. Otherwise, it may not get the time to connect to your device. So the boot button is also an option. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful, subscribe to the channel and we'll do something else in the next one.